hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to make this type of 3d logo animation using adobe after effects so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe it and share this video so now let's get start the video here you can see that i have already created this animation and now i'm going to show you how to make this so first i'm going to close this project and let me create another new project so here I'm going to create a new composition and to rename it to main 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 20 second duration hit ok now let's import our footage so I'm going to use all of these footage so you can download all of them from the link in the description and I'm going to use this logo so here right click go to import files and select this texture folder and import this folder and then we need all of these photos just drag them to after effects and then here let's create a new solid before that let's drag this background layer to the timeline and recompose it rename it to background hit ok now let's create a new solid rename it to shield go to illustrator and copy your logo so i'm going to select this logo shield only copy it back to after effects and select the shield go to edit and paste it so this is our shield so i'm going to change the size to 75 now you can close it or turn off this now again back to illustrator and select this part of this logo copy it back to after effects create another new solid rename it to logo mask and again paste the mask that we copied from illustrator and change its size to 75 also now we can hide this too now let's create a new solid again and rename it to 11 3d now go to texture folder and select this textures drag all of them to the timeline and press F4 to get this and click on this icon and then click on this icon to hide all of this from this area now select the element 3d and then go to effect control right click on your mouse go to video copilot and select element from here go to customize layer select custom texture and mask for the layer path 1 select the shield and for path 2 select the logo mask now back to custom texture and select all of this texture we, that, that we imported in timeline just select all of them here now close it just click on the send setup now click on extrude click here turn on this grid and change this to ultra and then rename it to shield and change this size to 3 select this go to bevel copies and make it 3 select this change this extrude to 0.75 and change its size to 0.65 go to presets physical and select this gold apply it to here again select this and change this to 0.75 and bevel size 0.65 apply gold here also and drag this z offset to something like this point now select this apply black glow to here select this click on this texture and select normal bump from here select this normal black since you will repeat 20 by 20 
hit ok and select illumination from here select this pattern and also change this to 20 by 20 now select this gold go to illumination select this and select this pattern middle and change this 20 by 20 and select normal bump also select this pattern and make this 20 by 20 also now back here select this gold and apply this to here so you'll find something like this so our shield is ready now again click on extrude and from here change this custom path to path 2 and drag this to something like this point select the gold and apply it to here select this and go to texture illumination and change it to this 20 by 20 illumination also select this change this opacity to 45 so you'll find something like this let's change this to something like this okay now change this single light to dramatic then so now our 3d logo is okay so now just click on okay here then right click create a new camera then hit okay now go to around five second press alt and right bracket key to cut this camera here go to first of this camera and now let's animate this logo so select this let's zoom it little bit and drag it to something like this point press p and shift a create a keyframe here go to last of this keyframe and then make it something like this and then again create another new camera cut it to here go to around three seconds forward and press alt and right bracket key to cut this camera here press ctrl d duplicate this camera place it here again and place it here now select the camera 2 back to this point press p and shift a create a keyframe here let's drag it to something like this and zoom this now back to this point we can close this now let's drag it something like this and make it a little bit smaller okay now select this and turn on this camera back to this point press p and shift a again create another keyframe here let's zoom it and make it something like this move this to this point then back to here drag this to something like this now let's turn on this camera select this press p shift a again create another keyframe and let's drag this to something like this and zoom it back to this point zoom out something like this or we can zoom it a little bit more then back to this point zoom out and move it a little bit up okay now let's create another new camera and drag cut this camera to here go to around something like this point let's make this camera something like this 
press P and shift A create a keyframe back to here and make this logo something like this and let's zoom it like this now select last of this keyframe press F9 click here select all of them drag this to something like this point and make it like this now let's create depth of fill to all of this camera so select this select the first camera click here go to camera options turn on depth of fill from here and make this blur level 200 aperture 15 and let's adjust it according to your camera so i think this is okay for this camera let's back to the camera 2 so this is enough for this now apply depth of field to all of this camera so I'm going to select the camera 3 for now select this turn on change the aperture to 15 and blur level 200 let's adjust focus distance this is good now camera 4 Okay, this is enough for this okay now let's adjust its lighting so select the element 3d then go to render setting from here go to lighting and change this lighting to dramatic and go to ambient occlusion turn on this and make it 5 okay now go to project window select this particle and drag this below of this element 3d press f4 and change this mode to add and select this player drag this above element 3d and also change this mode to add and now change drag this player place it here change this mode to add also so our logo is almost complete now just let's create another new solid and rename it to black bar and select the rectangular tool make sure that you have select this and double click here now click here and turn on title safe action click here and drag this to this point also drag this to this point and from here change this to subtract now you'll find a cinematic bar like this so our logo animation is complete so now let's see the preview so this is how you can make a golden 3d logo intro using adobe after effects and element 3d plugin so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching